Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, it is Friday. It is a time for another episode of Friday's Finds. And this Friday's Finds is being sponsored by, I'm gonna butcher this, Oxito. Oxeto? Ox Oxito? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Anyway, however you pronounce Oxito, they are in the in the light business. And they want to light up white lightning. And maybe even Trudy Thunder, but accessing Trudy Thunder's lights is a pain in the butt. Oxeto? Oxito is in the business of lights. LED lights specifically for the vehicle. So we are going to install, or not we, I'm going to install, can't even get in there. So this, check this out. They even include some fancy white gloves so you don't get your the oil from your skin all over these fancy headlight, LED headlights. So what I'm gonna do for this, video is I'm going to go through I'm going to pull this out I'm going to pull out the headlight pop in new headlights on one side I'm going to put in one headlight and then tonight after dark well I'll come out here and we'll we'll see how bright it is compared to the other side that'll give us a, a should give us a good side by side presentation so getting the headlight out of this f-150 turned out to be almost as much of a project as it is the the super duty so what i found is there are i think it's five 10 millimeter bolts Two on top, three on the back, so that would be six, seven. So there's two more here in the front. And I've had to pop this little trim piece off of both sides. And that has seven millimeter screws holding it in place. <laughs> So let me let me keep at this and when I get it out I'll show it to you. This trim piece is not snapping out and I don't want to pry too hard. I'm I'm thinking it may be connected to the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop out all of these little retaining clips and take the, the air dam off and just remove the whole the whole darn grill. So, Stay tuned. <laughs> Turned into a bit of a, a bit more of a project than I was expecting. So in order to get the headlight assembly out, you've got to take out the grill. And the grill is actually snapped into the headlight assembly. You have to have three different sockets, a 10, a nine, and an eight. And there's a whole lot of pop rivets. The ones that are, there's eights down here on the grill. There's an eight right there. And then there's two more eights right there. And then there's tens up here. Right, but I, I have made it to the point where I can hopefully remove, remove the lamp. I got it out. <laughs> it was no simple task. So this is the halogen bulb that we're replacing. So let me get that in, let me get that done. And then we wait for dark. This has turned into way more of a little of a project than I anticipated. So there's two different size 
bulbs. Two different halogen bulbs in the front. So one is the, the top one, and then there's the bottom one. The new, the new LED. They must put off some, some heat because that's a fan, which kind of makes me wonder because the headlamp assembly is sealed. And just for reference, this top one, there's not a whole lot of clearance on that. And to get the, the dust cover back in place, I actually had to get the screwdriver and work the lip inside there. But I got the one side done. I'm going to go ahead and refasten some of that. And after dark, I'll come out here and turn on the lights and we'll have a look. Oh, it's dark. We need to change that. We're gonna turn on some headlights. Wow. So look at this difference. You, you can see it right here. We're orange on the left and on the right is where I switched out the the lamps. Wow, that's that's a significant difference. Let's let's hit the high beams. <laughs> There we go, that's high beam. Had to turn the engine on. Now you can really see the difference. You can really see the difference now between high beam and low beam. I will go back down to Low beam. There's low beam. High beam. Low beam. High beam. Got it all back together. Replaced the headlight bulbs on both sides. So, so tonight after dark, I'll come out here and I'll, I'll, I'll turn on the lights and we'll see how bright it, it is with both of them replaced. All in all, it was a fairly simple project, but there's, there are a lot of little fasteners to keep track of. Uh, and I, <laughs> what were the engineers thinking? There's four different size screws in this little project, and it in different thread patterns. So you gotta gotta rem keep track of what screw came out of what hole. Otherwise, you spend a whole lot of time trying to figure that out. Um, yeah. So we're done with this until dark. So I'll, I'll see you tonight. It is time for the big reveal. Well, that's irritating. Oh, looky there. <laughs> Super bright. Actually, looks like I need to have this maybe adjusted down a little bit. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that. That's awesome. Hot 
hot dog. All right, tomorrow. Well, that brings us to the conclusion of our our little. I say little, our our headlight project turned out to be a little more of a project than I was uh, initially thinking. Just know when, if you decide to do this, it's gonna take a little more time. It's not like old cars where you just pop out two, maybe three screws and you pop the headlight out, pop the new bulb in. No, you gotta disassemble the whole front end of your, your truck. With that being said, with that one hiccup, I want to give a special thanks to Oxito. I guess that's a Ox Oxito, Oxido. I want to give a special thanks to them for for sponsoring this video and helping me light up the the tr the night with white lightning. I'm impressed. I, I didn't I didn't realize it was going to be that dramatic of a difference. They are available on Amazon. The link will be in the card above and in the description below. I'll put them on the F-150 uh, shopping list. This, this, this <laughs> I can't say enough good things about it. It's super bright. So if you're doing a, any driving at night, you just dramatic, a huge difference. So do yourself a favor and buy you some new light bulbs. I hope you found this video to be informative educational maybe some entertainment value if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button and if you've already been following along thank you that's why i'm doing what i'm doing thank you for that opportunity and for my patrons thank you you rock all right y'all come back now you hear